Hi, this is Dale O'Shills, pastor of Church of the Redeemer. Thanks for joining me for this week of devotions. I hope that you've enjoyed them and benefited from them. I hope you'll continue to stay with us as we move forward in the weeks to come with these very important devotional times. Just a little thought every day to help you think about your life and relationship with God. Here's my question for you today. Have you ever felt boxed in? You know, so many times it feels like we're boxed in by life. We find ourselves limited by challenges or circumstances. The Apostle Paul certainly felt this way and experienced this in reality. Many times because he loved preaching the gospel, he loved encouraging churches and encouraging believers, he found himself in situations where he was boxed in. Literally, he was put in prison for the preaching of the gospel. And here was this energetic, passionate man who loved preaching the gospel, who loved helping other people. He finds himself in a box, in a prison. Now, how does he handle these times in his life? I want you to listen to his words in Philippians chapter 1, beginning in verse number 18. Notice how Paul handled the boxed-in periods of his life. Yes, and I will continue to rejoice, he says, for I know that through your prayers and God's provision of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, what has happened to me will turn out for my deliverance. I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but will have sufficient courage so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether by life or by death, for to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. You know, when you read those words, you don't hear words of a man that's perceiving himself as being boxed in. Even though he's in prison, he writes from a prison cell. He writes these words. He, said, he says, you know, I'm not going to I'm not gonna be, be gloomy about this. I'm not going to complain about my circumstances. Even though I'm in prison, I'm believing that something good is going to come out of this. I'm believing that God will use this for a great purpose. He realized that even in the midst of his boxed-in condition, his spirit did not need to be boxed in. Maybe you feel boxed in by some circumstances. Maybe there's some things going on in your life that feel like they put you in a cell, if you will. Would you remember today that, that, that actually when you have freedom in your heart, you have the capacity to rejoice in the midst of whatever you're facing in life. Don't let life circumstances box you in. Have a free spirit of worship, a free spirit of praise. Don't fall into the pattern of complaining. Learn to be, as Paul was, a man of rejoicing, a person who rejoices in all things.